Day 44, Holy Thursday, a reading from the Gospel of John 13, 1 through 20. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. When he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that I, as I have done for you, you should also do. Reflection This particular incident, the Last Supper scene, where Jesus washes the feet of his disciples, is very important to the heart of the Gospels but is seen only in the Gospel of John. This is the beginning of the Passion narrative in the Gospel of John. For John, Jesus has said and did all that he expected from his followers. Jesus said, I am your master and teacher, and I did wash the feet of you, so you must wash each other's feet. According to the Old Testament, washing someone's feet is the work of a slave. In one Samuel, we see, rising and bowing to the ground, she answered, Let your maidservant be the slave who washes the feet of my Lord's servants. Jesus became a slave to save us. He calls us, his disciples, to become slaves to save others. Although Jesus regrets that one of his own will be the cause of his suffering and cruel death, he accepts it as part of how it has to be. Psalm 41.10 says, Even my trusted friend, who ate my bread, has raised his heel against me. For those who do not become traitors of his trust, we are called to be faithful members of the body of Christ. Question. Has there ever been a time when you deny the love of the Lord in spite of him giving you everything? Action. Tonight, after the Mass of the Lord's Supper, spend an hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament in your parish church.